are two ways that you can go about importing the course content that you've created this year into your next year's courses. It's going to feel amazing, so let's get started. First thing first, you want to create a sandbox course because your official Canvas courses for the fall will not be available for quite some time. So on your dashboard on the right hand side, you're going to see a button that says start a new course. Make sure you give it a name that has sandbox in the title so that way you can distinguish between what you've played in this summer and what you um, are going to have officially for the fall. Once you've done that, you have a couple different things to think about. There are some templates available, and you can kind of browse them in Commons if you're interested. We also sneak a little, uh, little secret for you. We do have some alternative templates out there. So if you um, aren't seeing what you're liking in the current templates, reach out to your coach, and we might have some extras up our sleeve. So first option for importing is if you want to use one of those templates. So the first thing after you make your sandbox is you can import selected content. So on your homepage of that sandbox course, you're going to find a button that says import existing content. It's going to bring you to a screen where you're going to say you want to copy a Canvas course, find the course from the fall, and you're going to want to choose select specific content. Once you hit import, you're going to see a screen that looks like this where you can select specific content. If you're doing it this way with a template, we would recommend avoiding importing modules and pages, but everything else is free game. You can also use those arrows in that selected content and just pick specific assignments and summatives that you want to pull in a little at a time. So after you've selected the content you want, now it's time to rearrange and build this course and organize it for a new semester. Now, the second option is to not use a template at all, which seems bananas. But if you really, really like what you created in the fall and want to dump your entire fall course into a sandbox class for, for next fall, I would not recommend using a template. So this option allows you to pull in your weekly overview pages. It allows you to pull in modules and just tweak a little bit. So this might be a good option if you're OK kind of setting up those protocols on your own and adjusting as needed. I would recommend going into your past courses from this year and just cleaning things up, doing a little spring cleaning. Because I have a lot of, oops, I didn't mean to create that assignment, but it was never officially deleted. So I just kind of clean things up so that way I don't plop garbage into my new classes. So anything from fall 2020, you can certainly delete um, before you pull it in to your new course. Next thing you're going to want to do is go to import course content. So the same place on your homepage, import existing content, but this time you're going to select this option to pull in everything. You can adjust the due dates. It's not going to be perfect, but it will be better than having, you know, 2020 um, in your new course. OK, so once you do that, you're going to have to just tweak things a little bit. You're going to change due dates. You're going to change the names of the of the modules to meet the requirements for this year. And then the key is going to be if you pull in those weekly overviews, you're going to have to relink a little bit and just check those links to make sure that they are not going to your fall 2020 course. They are going to your new course. So just checking things out. And then finally, as I said before, make sure you check out that um, Canvas protocol sheet to make sure that your navigation and your organization is meeting the requirements for the district. So if you have any questions, if you want to walk through any of these steps together or you need another option, feel free to reach out and be happy to help.